from PPG Paints Arena. Hello, I'm Dan Kingerski on the Pittsburgh Hockey Now and the National Hockey Now YouTube channel. It was the same script the Penguins have used for the last couple of weeks. Not their best game, but their sixth straight win, their 17th win in the last 19 games. As in the third period, they just boat raced Arizona out of the building for that 6-3 to three win. Now, let's get into a, a couple of the details here because the first period was certainly one that nobody will remember. Arizona clogged up the center of the ice, both in the neutral zone and the defensive zone. The Penguins really uh, will be polite and say they took what Arizona gave them, but the Penguins really didn't fight too hard to bust up that, that uh, the clog that Arizona was uh, putting in place. Now, the second period, things began to move just a little bit. Arizona converted on a couple of chances, including dual penalties by Sidney Crosby and Jake Gensel. Gave Arizona a five on three, and Clayton Keller just ripped a, a wrister from the circle. Uh, you know, laser pinpoint accuracy. Jari couldn't do too much. And Arizona led both uh, one nothing, 2-1, and 3-2. They got the 3-2 lead early in the third period when Dominic Simone, pretty uh, bad turnover at center ice. Nick Schmaltz races in, gets behind Mike Matheson, who was just hopping on to the ice. Don't fault Matheson on that one. And Schmaltz sweeps across, Jari puts it in. And you began to wonder, is it the lowly Coyotes who only had 10 wins on the season? Would it be them who ended the Penguins' winning streak? But uh, as the Penguins have done, when they were called upon, they were as good as they needed to be. In the third period, the, the Penguins began to, to show their speed on the outside, but also get to the net. They began to fill the slot and then fill the net as a result, they began busting up Arizona's uh, clog. Brian Russ said he thought that Arizona took a few unnecessary chances and the Penguins capitalized. Rust and Sidney Crosby, uh, they definitely had themselves a night. Each one of them had three points, a goal, and two assists. They, they were just flying from the puck drop. Uh, Sidney Crosby's no-look backhand pass through his legs set up Brian Russ's power play goal. As we grade the lines and check out the PHN Plus report card, uh, please and thank you. The Penguins' grades are, are a bit of a mixed bag because you have the top line with Sidney Crosby, Rust, and Gensel that uh, provided almost all, or I should say uh, half, of the Penguins' offense. That line had six scoring chances, six high danger scoring chances, compared to just five for the rest of the team. And therein uh, lies kind of the cascading results. The Penguins' middle six is probably still trying to find their chemistry, still trying to find the proper lines, is head coach Mike Sullivan. Danton Heinen was on the second line on the left side with Evgeny Malkin and Kasperi Kapanen. That line was, was AWOL. They had just three shots on goal. Danton Heinen had zero, and they were really a non-factor. You really want to see that Malkin line dominate a weaker opponent like Arizona, and they, they really didn't. They, they were quiet as church mice on Tuesday night. For that reason alone, we kind of we scored them poorly. Danton Heinen is not a player who does a lot of other things. You don't notice him unless he's scoring. And with zero shots on goal, well, you can do the math. The third line is a little bit of a hodgepodge of grading with Jeff Carter, Brock McGinn, uh, you know, and Evan Rodriguez. Rodriguez, his game grew with the Penguins game throughout Tuesday night. In the first period, he was also quiet. Jeff Carter was, you know, on the perimeter with him, and, and they didn't do a whole lot. Brock McGinn had a couple of rushes. But it was in the third period that that line kind of came to life. Brock, or I mean, uh, rather, Evan Rodriguez had a pair of primary assists, some really nice plays, setting up players off the wall, including Brock McGinn, who split the defenseman for the game tying goal. Rodriguez sets up Chris Letang for the game winning goal off of the other wall, right into the slot. That's when the Penguins were really beginning to pressure and make. Arizona uncomfortable was in the third period. That's when they began to push back and take more than Arizona was willing to give them. They took the slot. They, they, they backed in Arizona and the defenseman filled in nicely. Or the Penguins just skated around the perimeter because they were clearly faster. But then they began to do something with the puck that they weren't doing, especially in the first period. Uh, the, the fourth line with Brian Boyle, he had to 
had himself a highlight reel goal and, and just a really uh, solid game, cycling the puck well in the offensive zone. Every time you looked up, Brian Boyle was in the offensive zone. They played the low to high game pretty well. The defenseman got a lot of shots because of that fourth line controlling the puck down deep in Arizona territory. The defensemen, again, were activating frequently, being very aggressive. Uh, oftentimes, a fourth stick in the play, especially in the third period. Kind of a curious thing that the Penguins F3 not always cycling to the top, and sometimes they're using that uh, four-stick approach. So that's it from PPG. The Penguins win 6-3. to three. Like and subscribe for me, please. Uh, you're always uh, appreciated here. Uh, that's it for me. We will talk to you again on Thursday night.